So the best way to understand this stuff <laughs> is, uh, is really just to see it in action. So we're going to go to our Seascape real-time information center here, live on stage. We've got Officer Deepu John, Officer Ryan Blinn. You will see what they see up on screen here, and they're going to fly and operate these drones. So uh, let's see what we got. Hey, Ryan. I'm getting calls of a suspicious tech CEO throwing T-shirts at audience members during a keynote. I'm going to launch a drone to keep an eye on them. All right. All right, sounds good. I guess that gives you something to do since it's been so quiet. Somebody snitched on me. Uh, so this drone is now locked onto me using Skydio Shadow. So if I run over here, it's going to follow. I guess I'm busted. My t-shirt throwing days are over. All right, I've got an ALPR hit from an Axon outpost for a stolen vehicle heading south on Sumner. I'm not sure where this, dro uh, where this car is, so I got a drone outbound to go find it. Clear. Let me know if you need some assistance. All right, copy. So we had an incident uh, reported by Axon Outpost, maybe a stolen vehicle. So we have a second drone in the air. Uh, we're up there surveilling the area. And uh, well. All right, I'm on scene. I see, uh, I got a possible insight. I'm going to use Shadow to track this vehicle. Clear. So you just mouse over the car. The icon appears. You click it, and that drone is now locked on and autonomously following. And you can see both the live video of what's happening. You can also see the telemetry projected onto the map. So you get the green icon for where the car is. You can see the position of the drone. And all the data for your city would be projected here. So officer body camera locations, dock locations, all the assets, everything you need to know to manage and take care of the situation. All right, now we're getting a 911 call. You jinxed it, man. Looks like all hell's breaking loose at Seascape. Seascape 911, where's your emergency? I'm at the Seascape Resort. Seascape Resort? Yes, Seascape Resort, the hotel. I'm at the Skydio Ascend Conference. And what's going on there? I saw a person wearing a black jacket breaking into guest rooms. They pried one door open and went through a room. Now they're trying to open another door. Yeah, my bad. I'm going to go ahead and send uh, all four to this. All right, copy. I also got a rapid SOS hit in the neighborhood, too. I'm sending two drones out there to check that out. Looks like we're missing lunch. So when this stuff is all working the way it should, sending four drones should be just as easy as sending one. Seascape is a large property. Who knows where the suspect is? Let's send four drones and, and stake out every corner. You can see the UI here. We've got a single operator managing multiple drones. They can see the map. They can see the live video feed from everything that's flying. All managed. We'll get eight drones in the air here managed by just two people on stage. And we have the FAA's permission to do this. Common question, but this is the direction the industry is going. The FAA knows it. And autonomy uh, makes it safe and reliable for one person to manage multiple drones. All right, it looks like this tech CEO call is unnecessary. It was called in by another jealous CEO. I got an idea who that might be. Was it Rick? I have units on scene for the other, uh, other calls, too. Uh, they're, they're calling it all off, so I'm going to RTH my drones now. So when they're done, all they have to do, they can stop the mission at any time. They can click return, and the drones will use Pathfinder the same way that they you autonomously flew there. They'll autonomously return to home and, uh, and safely land back in the docks. Yeah, it looks like we have a subject in custody on mine. I'm going to go ahead and return. All right, copy that. You got the watch. I'm going to meal. <laughs> 